Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are going to explain how you burn an ISO to a USB. We've, we went to this website, archlabsblog.wordpress. We found a link to the ISO and then we we're directed to SourceForge. We downloaded it and then we went to Rufus and we downloaded it as well. So how do we go from there? We install Rufus and you will see that Rufus will know what language you're using, what the Windows uses here Dutch, so he explains everything in Dutch here. So you just better keep everything as it is, but you go down here and you tell him that the ISO is there. The USB has been popped in, that's why he recognizes it. And then you say just start. This image was used uh, location yeah. So basically he's asking in Dutch that he wants to download these two files and it says please say yes so I can download them for you. And then an ISO hybrid image. All right, he recommends to do this. And what well, let's, let's just follow his recommendations and try if it works. As you can see, he's writing all this to the USB now. So basically, I've changed nothing up here. Follow the ISO. He gave some recommendations and I followed those recommendations and we'll see in a minute or two whether we can boot. Talking about booting, booting is done with uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you better know those keyboard shortcuts. If you do not, you can Google your computer name, your laptop name and find out if it's F2, F8, F12, Delete, Escape, these are all buttons to get to some kind of bias information where you can say that the USB is first coming up first or you can select the boot menu to then select the USB to start and so on. So you have to know that otherwise it's Google who will assist you. Let's pause a bit here. As you can see, everything is finished. Here it's in Dutch, meaning it's just done. And then we close up. And maybe the last thing we do in Windows is get rid of this USB. The proper way is to do this one. Or down here, you can have as well the option to get rid of the same device. So that concludes this tutorial.